I absolutely love this shirt. I got it from the store for 50 cents. Whoa! I mean, that is like killer. 50 cents! I mean, whoa! And this shirt right here, I got it for 25 cents in blue. I mean, those are just killer deals. And then I went to the Sims 3 store to get the same shirt, and it cost me 50 cents in Sim points. Suddenly it's not a good deal. What would be my thoughts on the Sims 4 store? Well, let's look at the problems with the Sims 3 store. One, everything costs money. And, well, I guess that's sort of the point of a store. But when nothing is real, that kind of changes things. My biggest fear is that the Sims 4 store would work kind of like this. That since maybe without a color wheel, hopefully we will have a color wheel in the Sims 4, whether it's been confirmed or not, it doesn't matter. But if we don't have the color wheel, and a shirt we like only comes in purple or blue or red, we might have to go to the Sims 4 store to buy it in green, yellow, and whatever third color I didn't mention. For 25 cents or for 50 cents, basically, per shirt. And that's a high price to pay when you're getting virtually nothing. Well, actually, virtually something, literally nothing. But again, this is just speculation of what the Sims 4 store could be like. No one knows for certain, I don't know for certain. If you're watching this video in the future and the Sims 4 store is wildly better or nothing like I described, well then, I'm sorry for wasting your time with this video now. I bet I probably overprojected the view count. But yes, there probably and definitely is going to be a Sims 4 store because they made a lot of their money with the Sims 3 store and it's ingenious. It's a way to make money between expansion packs. It's, it's genius. You know, if the money people spend on expansion packs could feed a small family in an impoverished country for a year, the money we spend on the store items could probably feed us for an entire year. Oh, and that is an exaggeration, so please don't pull up the map or anything in the comments. Be cool. This is that this extra shirt for a killer cost. Let me just tie it up a bit. <laughs> oh my god, am I going to be wearing three shirts per video now? Oh my god, everyone's going to think I have a shirt fetish. And maybe I do. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Oh, man. And now I have like blue fibers in my mouth and lungs. Thank you YouTube and your desire to see stupidity on screen. My next video is going to be about my worst expansion pack from any Sims game. And I want it to be about your worst expansion pack too. I want you guys to post a video response saying what you think your worst expansion pack is. And if you can't make a video, then just post it on our Facebook page, link down below, or even on this video. I want it to be chock full of fans and other people's just worst, least favorite expansion packs. So get to work. I will stop collecting comments and video responses for it by the time we reach, um, that might be too soon, 1,000 subscribers? So get to work as fast as possible making it, and yes, I will accept some after a 1,000. But, you know, try and hurry. Make sure you like the Facebook page to get notifications of new videos, memes, behind the scenes, stuff like that, and to see your name and a shout out if your video ends up on YouTube. And of course, click to subscribe so you'll be notified of any awesome new videos that come out on my channel, and even the not so awesome ones. You know, the kind of videos where I just sit around with a shirt on my head and talk about random crap, like this one, the last one, and probably the next one. Thanks for all the support, you guys rock, I love you. And uh, make sure you click that subscribe button. Come on, help a brother out. And even if you don't think of other people as brothers, help a random person out. 